NDP Nunavut MP Lori Idlout says she is willing to give an amended Bill C-21 a chance. We'll keep monitoring what's going on. I, I understand that the hearings will take us into the fall, so uh, it'll be, we'll, uh, the NDP will be there to make sure we really are continuing to fight for Indigenous people's rights. Earlier this year, the NDP spoke out against Liberal That's amendments to the legislation yes. that would have banned a number of shotguns and rifles, including those used by Indigenous hunters. But after the Liberals withdrew these amendments, the party believes the legislation is back on track. We've helped to make sure that we're refocusing what the intent of C-21 was, uh, which is to fight gang violence uh, in urban centres, uh, focusing on handguns and military-style weapons. Earlier this month, the Trudeau government announced a number of changes to Bill C-21, including... The new legislation will be on a go-forward basis only and not apply to existing guns on the market. The Canadian Firearms Advisory Committee is being re-established to classify existing firearms and Section 35 Indigenous rights are recognized in the bill. But Conservatives say Indigenous hunters are still in the same amount of danger of having their guns seized as before. It's uh, very clear that Justin Trudeau, yet again, has learned nothing from the so-called consultations that his cabinet has done over the last few months. And this is another attack on hunting rifles and another, another thing that he's doing to show that he's coming for hunting rifles and he's not going to stop. And the Canadian Coalition for Firearms Rights agrees the revamped legislation is a step back, not forward. The minister and the rest of the Liberals have decided, well, we're not going to ban these guns now. We're going to form a committee, the Canadian Firearms Advisory Committee, and they will come up with lists of guns to ban that we haven't banned in the future, and they have committed to ban them, banning them by order in council like they did back in May 2020. So the reason why that's, that's possibly worse is because there's no criteria that we know the committee's getting. Natalie Provo is a survivor of the 1989 Ecole yeah, Polytechnique shooting free. and a spokesperson for the group Polici Suvien. She is not pleased with the proposed legislation either. Provo says Bill C-21 will do nothing to stop high-powered assault rifles from falling into the wrong hands. The, the list is not complete and the definition applies only to new models and the definition is based on the concept of design for high-capacity magazine. And for us, it's, it's too weak. The government says it will appoint a firearms advisory committee within 60 days. This committee will recommend which firearms are eventually banned. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.